Hey, it's Joe Glines, and uh, I just want to demonstrate this script. It's it's mainly off of the forum. There's been some minor tweaks to it. Uh, in this example, I'm sending through Gmail. So I went in to Gmail and looked up my settings. To, this is for a different server. Um, so you go in and you can go find your settings for the SMTP server. For me, 465 for the port worked. Um, leave these the same, I'd say. The sender name, um, on some servers, I've run into this where this is case sensitive, so be careful about that, depending on your server. Um, this is where you shove in your password. I have mine reading it from a variable from a, a um, any file, so I don't have to worry about showing you my password. Now, what's important here for Gmail is you actually have to go in and create a special app password, and I'll give you the hyperlink to it, but there's a, a video I found. It's a little old, so it's not quite perfect, but it's, it's easy to figure out. You go into your settings, and you go find under security, I believe, and say you want to create an app password, and then that will um, generate a second password, so you don't use your normal link uh, Gmail password. You use this other password after you create it. Um, it's very important, because otherwise it doesn't work for Gmail. Um, all the other ones, I don't have that with all my own server stuff. It's all the normal password that I use. Um, here, I'm, I'm doing an example. So this one, and you know what? Yeah, well, we'll just do it here. So I'm setting the HTML here. I'm putting, this is the, the body, right? I'm putting in here. Um, everything up between here and here, we're stuffing it into an object, and it, um, it doesn't change. Let me, um, so this is going to be per message, not massage. So per message. So everything up above this, basically once you configure it, you don't touch it unless you're of course changing email addresses you're sending from and whatnot. Um, but in here, I'm changing the who it's coming from. This is what's gonna be displayed, not the actual account, right? That's what's done up here. The who you're sending it to, if you wanna send to more than one, you can put in a semicolon in between, it'll send to both. Um, then you you can put in a B, a blind carbon copy, a regular carbon copy, and those would you'd put in a similar format. Um, you fill out your subject line, and then in here, if we're doing an HTML email, this is where I'm putting in that variable, right? So I'm, I'm putting in the HTML here. If not, this would be a toggle, right? So I could comment that out, turn this on, and I would send a plain text email, right? So this is how if I didn't care about HTML, um, which just depends what you're doing. Um, in this example, I'm going to do the HTML one. Maybe I'll do the plain text one just so you can see it. Um, this next one, again, you wouldn't touch any of this stuff. It all stays the same. And... Oh, actually, let's see right here. If you wanted to attach a file, we'll do that after we send it first. But these are the lines you would um, uncomment out and um, you'd fill in the path to the file. So I'm going to run this and you'll see, let's see how fast it actually works. So there, bam, it already opened it up. This is the email we sent. All right, that's the HTML email here. I could even click it, right? It takes you to my site. Um, so it's super fast. Let's go. So let's see. I sent to there. I also sent it to. Well, those will both come through in this one. Um, if we added a, like a, a carbon copy, it would do that. Let's do the uh, plain text version instead. So of course, so well, that still works. So I'm gonna save this and relaunch it. Come back to our inbox. Um, and here's the next one. This is the body of the plain text. So see, this one's not, there's no hyperlinks, there's no anything. Um, and if they reply, I think they'd have to change the format to be HTML if they want to insert a hyperlink, which is annoying to me. But whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, now let's say I want to attach a file, right? I have two files here as a good example. Um, so you'd uncomment these three lines. And what you do is you put the path to each file, the full path. And then if you have more than one, you delimit it with a pipe. So this one's going to attach two files. So I'm going to rerun it. We're going to come back in here, and here it's already here, and when we look, there are the two files attached, right? They're just text files. Um, I don't even remember what they are, but they're um, it's that easy. So it's a, a easy script to use. The one Just remember, when you're in Gmail, you got to get this special password, but generally speaking, it's pretty awesome to be able to, you know, you could, uh, you could put this into a script and have it automatically, you know, send you an updated file. If even if you give it someone else, of course, they would have your password. Um, what you could do is encrypt it. They could still figure it out, but uh, it just depends on what you're doing, right? Most of the time, if you encrypted it first and the person wasn't a programmer, it'd be pretty hard for them to, not hard, but they, they have to have some skills to get to it. Uh, but it, it's a convenient way to, to be able to automate emailing stuff. So just thought I'd share that. It, again, it's mostly from the forum. There's not much different from it, but um, I thought it could be helpful. Cheers.